What we know is that employee engagement is critical to organisational effectiveness. It drives profitability, it drives customer satisfaction, it drives shareholder value. It's management capability that drives employee engagement. But the question is, how do you develop that management capability? Traditionally, we've used the classroom, and for the overwhelming majority of cases, it fails to embed the learning. It's very hard to identify return on investment. What we know about learning is about learning from other people. The Leadership Cloud uses multimedia, blogs, podcasts, video, articles, in order to stimulate debate around real management issues. It enables the chief executive to communicate real time with his leaders and get feedback. It's 24 seven, it's online, it's immediate. It enables the learning to be embedded in the business and thereby driving management capability, which in turn drives engagement. That's the Leadership Cloud. I'm here today with Mark Whitmore, who's the head of organizational effectiveness for MBNA Bank of America. Tell me why you chose 1080. I talked to a number of organizations um, last year about um, a leadership development proposition we had. And what 1080 brought was a good understanding of what our business situation was, and also the most innovative, different thinking on how we could deliver leadership development. Why the Leadership Cloud to help build management and leadership capability? I think because it was different. I think we'd, we'd looked at, we've traditionally done classroom training over a number of years, and we thought about our strategy, we thought about our culture, and traditionally we've been very passive, we've educated people, and what, the, what we felt about the cloud was, it completely turned that on its head and it made it participative. What were the challenges faced by the business? I think that there are, there are four that come to mind which really stand out. Um, there is a real um, ignorance and anxiety around social media as a whole. Time is a challenge as well. I think people feeling that they haven't got time to do it. So one thing that's quite exciting is we're about to use the cloud app and people are going to be able to access it from their tablets and from their iPhones. And I think that's going to get people to think differently about time. The other piece is trust where people feel, some people feel a little bit uncomfortable going on there because everybody can see what they're saying. So I think, um, I think there are a number of things and I think they were our, probably, our biggest, they're probably our biggest challenges. Well, if they're the challenges, and I know it's only been in place for a little over six months, mm. what would you see as the organisational benefits? What, what are the things that at this moment in time you would see have definitely helped build organisation capability and leadership and management? I think, two of the, I think two of the three challenges are two of the three benefits. So I think time is one of them. I think just people haven't realised it yet, which is you're taking away a whole lot of need for meetings and need to go in the classroom. I think the other, the other piece in this is that it, it will build trust and it will build engagement. So I think there are two big benefits. I other think the other piece is the speed, the speed of engagement, the speed of communication. So if you take our CEO Ian, he can put something on there, he can put his thoughts, he can put an article, and anybody who's following him and everybody on the cloud can see that instantly. So, a good decision to buy the Leadership Cloud? I think the answer is yes. Um, I think ask me the same question in a year's time. I think we've created quite a stir, um, a very good stir. I think we've evoked massive amounts of curiosity. I think we've got a lot of work to do, but I think it's absolutely the right decision. Um, it's making people feel a little bit uncomfortable, but it's also getting people very excited. So yeah, delighted we're doing it and um, delighted to be part of it. It's great to be involved in something from the beginning and you know, be an early adopter. Mark Whitmore, thank you very much. Thank you.